Hey, it's Dr. Danielle Andre here at The Oath Plastic Surgery in Houston, Texas. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about implant sizing. So a lot of doctors, plastic surgeons, have different theories on sizing people for implants, picking implant sizes for people. Um, some doctors just pick a size for you, you come in, you say you want a C cup, and then that's it. That's not really the way that I do it. So I wanted to take y'all kind of into one of my consultations uh, so that I can explain exactly what I do, what measurements I'm taking, and how we come to an implant size together. So the first thing I'm going to do um, is talk to you, obviously, um, find out what size you are, what size we want to be, and even look at some photos of kind of your wish picks, uh, your goals of what you want. Then I'm going to go in and take a measurement. This is your base diameter. This is how wide your chest is. And that really guides us to what implants we can put in, what implants we cannot put in without damaging your anatomy, what's going to look good, where we need to go. And a lot of patients get really hung up on CCs, but hopefully I'll be able to explain why I don't like getting hung up on a CC. So say that I say your, your base diameter is 12 or your chest width is 12 on that side. So this implant it has a width of 12, so that would fit in well. This implant has a width of 12, so that would fit in well. And then this implant right here has a width of 12, and that would fit in well. But these, this is a 310 cc implant. This is a 365 cc implant, and this is a 445 cc implant. So those are all very different. And what makes them different is the height. So this is a moderate profile implant, this is a full profile implant, and this is a high profile implant. And so just because what's gonna fit in your chest doesn't really give you the, the height or the projection of your chest. So the first thing that we do whenever we start to look at sizing is I kind of get an estimate of what size, what look you're going for. And the best way to do that is, uh, in my opinion, is using these sizers here. So these kind of look like half chicken cutlets. Um, you can put them in the bra and then go up to the mirror. You can put a t-shirt or something on. And this is going to simulate what your implant is going to look like once it's inside underneath the muscle. So I put them like this if it's more of a moderate profile look or upside down if it's a little bit more of a high profile look that you're wanting to go for. And so we kind of get an estimate of right around what size, what projection you're going to go with. And then I start pointing you towards implants. And so then we'll switch those out for the implants themselves so that you can see kind of what the different projections are going to look like on your body. So say this is a 365 cc implant and this is a 375 cc implant. You can see these are very different looking implants. One's a little bit more narrower, one has a little bit more projection, but they're, they're both within 10 cc's of each other, which is not a big difference. And so the it, two implants are going to look very different on. So we let you kind of try those on, see which one do you want. And then I kind of steer you in the right direction of what's going to fit with your body, what's going to give you the look like your wish pick is going to give you. Um, and so whenever I do that with my patients, we're able to come to an implant size together. And both of us can be very confident about that going into the operating room. Sometimes I have people that are a little bit on the fence. They don't know exactly how it's going to look once it's in their body. And so what they choose to do is go into the operating room um, with a couple different sizes in mind. Like say that they're in between the ultra high profile and the high profile. They don't know if kind of that, that rounder, fuller look is what they want or a little bit more projected look. Um, they'll give me a wish pick or what they want to look like afterwards. And then I go into the operating room, put the sizers in there because everybody is going to take the implants just a little bit differently depending on how much breast tissue they have already, how tight their muscle is, where their fold lies. And so I'll put those sizers in there, sit the patient up, and then kind of get an idea of what they wanted and look and see which breast looks closer to what their wish pick is and we'll go with that implant. So far all of my patients who have chosen to do that have been very happy. So if you're interested, come in and we can try on all the implants, all the sizers and find out uh, how we can get you to your goal body shape.